there's something in me, I think it's called laziness, but uh, I don't enjoy rehearsing much. And so I probably should do it more than I do. I get away with the bare minimum usually. But you tell, I tell you when I start to enjoy rehearsing is when we actually get away from just rehearsing. Um, and often we can spend all our time just rehearsing songs, you know, trying to get everything spot on and all this. But it's really important that as a band, in a sense, you rehearse, you prepare you more than that, not just the songs, but maybe rehearse getting into a flow as a band. You know, so as you're having your rehearsal, don't be scared to get off a song. Maybe you're getting on this chord progression. Maybe you're getting a little line and just worship God together. Teach each other how to worship God spontaneously. And it can make the rehearsal so much more fun, I think. You know, you actually meet with the Lord and also it doesn't feel just like singing songs. Um, I'm, I'm not a good person on that. I'm not really... Uh, I, I let too much go sometimes musically. Um, I don't know if it's laziness or thinking. I'm not sure how important that is. It's interesting in the Bible, Psalm 33 verse 3 tells us to play skillfully. Um, and apparently that has a little bit of the word sensitively in it as well. It has that element to it. But the thing is, it, it only says that once. It doesn't keep reiterating it time and time again. And I've heard too, many, too much stuff about excellence in worship. You know, excellence in this, excellence in that. And that's cool. And there's a place for that. The Bible says it, Psalm 33. But the priority has to be the heart thing. You know, and you have to make sure in every aspect of what you're doing that the priority is the heart thing. So in your rehearsal, really, if possible, it needs to be some more about the heart thing. You know, God values that time and time again in the Bible. He says it time and time again. He only talks about excellence once, really, directly. And so, of course, rehearse. Of course, get as good as you can. But what I find, and I, again, I'm not very good at this, so I need to learn, is that have time for prayer together. Um, have time to just learn to worship God spontaneously together, you know, to be even in a rehearsal, to be prepared for that new song, you know, that song of the Lord thing. I think that's a lesson. I guess the other thing to say is the whole character thing. John Wimber said the real test in these days uh, will not be in the producing and writing of new and great music. The real test in these days will be in the godliness of those who deliver it. And so again, it's right back to that heart, the heart of worship thing. Make sure that your heart and your life's matching up. Mm -hmm.